I just want to big up to everybody and say thank you so much. Within like three days, I was able to get 500 subscribers. And so I'm able to do this, you know, live tonight because, you know, you need 500 for start. So here I am, guys. All right. So this is going to be our space to share. Um, see, as I come on, somebody asking me to highlight something for them. It could be from a party to a community issue to a personal issue. It could be something that affects the country. Um, people just need a voice. That's what this is all about. And when you're the voice of the people, like Marcus Garvey, like um, all the greats, some people just not going like it. And you just have to live with that. Hello, my friend. <laughs> you just have to live with that and know, say, you are who you are, and you're here to do what you do, and it is what it is. Right. So that's what is the situation with me. Yeah. I am who I am and I will be who I am forever and ever and keep the mission going. So that's why I created the YouTube channel now because this thing is serious. Um, there are many issues going on. That when you know the thing you understand we you send the internet week stay up on youtube then it's not the internet because this is I, I got data on this device on this one too okay. so the only thing using the wi-fi is the youtube so it should be fine like why it can't manage that's a topic too for amber joy's news and reviews why these phone companies can't keep up what do you think a good topic that not true <laughs> But the first topic that I am going to bring to my YouTube channel is the topic of all topics. It's the elephant in the room. It's the topic that has been, this, you know, detracted from and the topic that the media is deflecting from and directing the people's attention from, away from, and to other things. And the excuses continue. And all the different things which surround the topic. The topic of all topics. The water topic. That is the topic. For the first YouTube channel. You know, me not too love all the YouTube picture look. Me look better over TikTok and Insta too. Insta come back. Yeah. But, I don't know. Maybe it's me. I don't set it up right. Mali, I forgot to fix the camera for me. Me look grainy. 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 Uh, I tell my friend, <laughs> he's like, never that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we got my friend in the background. Um, but yeah, guys, this water thing is so deep and serious. It's, I'm like just laughing at these people who think they can just, like it's going to just go away like, like you're a magician or something. It's not. So that's our first topic. So the first thing I want to tell everybody is, like I said, thank you all so much for getting on the youtube channel so that we can get to this place because with youtube now i can do like a whole podcast i can um do interviews i can do reviews i can um do you know research investigation create my own videos which show the things them you understand so somebody says please tell us why they're running off the station that's just you know, not what it's about. And keep the support going. All right. So like I was saying, the water thing is very deep. It is so deep and entrenched in every parish that there is no surprise that and the water issue in Negril and the surrounding communities has been an issue but it never so bad so we already discovered why it's so bad and that was uncovered right but then after uncovering that you would believe the layers which i've peeled back it's like a big 
GMO onion. You know them big onion they when I have no use. We don't have no smell, no taste. The big onion they want to see in the supermarket, they look like a tennis ball. I saw the water, it just stayed full of layers. Them big and thick and large. So I'm peeling away the layers of that because it's the people them come to me so it's not like me just did just get up one day and say my family them not have water in their pipe so may I go take up this for my head me always a talk about them thing for my people them from long time me no say water in the day in my family them community for decades so me talk about it from time to time but because of the present situation it's a different thing so the people have been organizing prior to my involvement and it's at this stage now where they are planning some town halls and the public is invited to be a part of this thing, especially since everything that went on, you all see now that, you know, you all have to stand up for yourselves. Everything can be on me. I am dealing with enough and it's fine. Everything is fine because everything, it is what it is. If something never for me, could have happened so. are planning some events they're coming up so the first one is this saturday uh that's may 11 and it's going to be at the Negril community center at 3 p.m right type in the chat in on youtube for the people who know who are in the group or if you're on instagram or tiktok 3 p.m is the time right let me know so i'm gonna be one of the speakers and there will be many other speakers and the public will have their chance to come and give their testimonials. Talk about your experience with the situation and how you've watched the situation change from your parents' days to your days now. And you know the difference. We all know what the difference is. I'm not even going to mention it tonight. You all saw that already. The big difference, the elephant in the room, which people are trying so hard to avoid they literally don't mention but even if they don't mention the name of the place the place is opening next center in negro three o'clock saturday coming so for all the stakeholders tourism workers community leaders people who need water People who are experiencing, um, you know, trouble with their business because of this water issue, like some of the small hotels in Negro. Um, family members, visitors, everybody should take this situation serious. And so that is why I'm a part of this advocacy group and working with the people to get some change in the place. You understand? All right. So, okay, I need to block this person, Andrew Lyons, because if I'm talking about water and you're going to refer to politics, it simply means you can't be a part of this conversation. All right, so good night to you. You can keep listening to the station if you feel like it. So I will block this person because this is what I would have to do to avoid, you know, getting distracted by these stupid people who put politics in water. Everybody needs water. There's no side of the fence, people. This situation has found. So we're going to examine some of these things which are affecting the people and offer the solutions. So there's a couple of things coming up. So the first one, like I said, is this meeting on Saturday, right? And it's going to be at the Integral Community Center. Let me look in the chat for the 3 p.m. because some of the people from the group should be here to make sure I stay on point with my information. So the meeting will be going on. It's a community forum. It's a, what you call it, a town hall, like I said. Um, just for people to air their grouses. We're also planning to invite the prime minister, the water minister, the tourism minister, all the associated stakeholder ministries. 
for them to really come to the realization that unless they face the elephant in the room, the people will continue to suffer. And it may lead to things that they do not want it to lead to. That's what we're trying to avoid. And can you imagine when you're trying to avoid bad situations and these people want to paint you like you're the troublemaker? I'm like, okay. Anyway, so many things that we will be discussing at this meeting on Saturday include the fact that there are people who are basically scamming the system, including the water trucks, including community members, including people who work within agencies who are supposed to be giving the people water. It is alleged that some persons in these agencies are, you know, in cahoots with the truck men and them just take what the people them water go sell. Basically, that's it. These are the allegations from the citizens. So for the people who know and feel it and see it, and this is the place to be, the first town hall meeting on Saturday. All right, let me look in the group and see if anybody, and on YouTube, sorry, to see if anybody from the group is telling me the correct time. I had said three o'clock, I want to make sure. So big up to all the Negro citizens, all the original Negro families, and to all the visitors who love that place. Negro has like the best turnover of returning guests. Um, to the original people, eh? because originally, when it comes to tourism, it was never about the big hotel and the all-inclusive and all these things. It was people who live in Negril that put up tourists in them house. That is the origin of tourism in Negril. It was like the, the back-in-the-day Airbnb, so to speak. Catchment. Low catchment, right? I take in and out, so I'm going to try with the Wi-Fi. Let me try doing the Wi-Fi instead because I have the data on on this one. Right, so because of low catchment and lack of infrastructure, you find that, you know, the, the, the water system, you no know, catch the water when rain fall. So to say that drought is the biggest reason why the people are having water problems is just ridiculous. So that's something, too, that one of the speakers will be addressing, the drought argument. Because not. Like. So then when I see it go from zero to 70 or 80 in a matter of six months, eight months, a year, or however long we know the elephant in the room has been affecting the people, then we know that something is off. It can't just be about the drought. So the drought will be addressed as one of the main topics because we know that this is the topic that the government has been using to cover the real situation all right so that's the drought also in connection to drought we are hearing about climate change now climate change is also a thing which is real and which affects the earth it i think is just a normal part of the whole you know ecology of the world I don't think it's new. I just think there's more highlight on it now. And I just think that it probably is more rapid in certain cases. So for me, climate change just has always been a part of life. But it becomes a part of your vocabulary now when it is like something in the news all the time. And there are campaigns about it. And we know the ozone layer is like done for and all these different things. So yes, we accept that climate change does affect weather patterns. But we also still know that there is something which all of them are afraid to talk about. Oh no, no, there's something. All right, so the climate change argument is just like the drought argument. It's a normal part of proceedings. And so it doesn't take away the people's water that they used to get all along during drought and during climate change patterns. You get me? All right, TikTok is telling me that I'm having issues. So maybe, all right, let me try switching over to the data. Uh, 
things tend to happen so let me switch over and see but like i said tonight honestly big up tiktok but my main focus tonight is youtube doing my first youtube live um let's see if i reconnect all right let me know what's happening tiktok they said not hearing you all right instagram seems to be doing good hi to everybody all right so i don't know what the live go already we have to stop and say hi to some of our friends and all these things so big up to everybody all right i'm gonna have to stop figuring on him right now <laughs> All right, so yes, yeah, so like I said, the all of these things will be discussed at the meeting. So please, people, this is for your own good. Come on out. It's a town hall meeting. I'm going on fine. I'm back. I think I'm back on Instagram. Sorry for the internet issues, guys. I'm getting them fixed. As Mr. May have a secret moderator that we never even know about. <laughs> so if the video pauses for a sec, it's because I'm getting assistance. All right, so yeah, um, these are the things, guys. Thank you, my production um, manager. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna try this, guys. All right, bear with me. So he says that this one connects better down here, where I am. So I'm I'm doing good already on on YouTube. So I'm gonna fix the TikTok first. Um, oh, we're forgetting something, production manager. The username. Thank you. So, I saw a technical thing going in a virtual world. Virtual world. All right. Um, somebody wants to be in the video. I, I'm really not going to accept any video requests tonight. I'll do some in the future um but not tonight because like i said i'm this is my first youtube live and i really want to just focus on what it is all about right so i don't think it would be appropriate for me to take somebody on the live especially because i don't know what you're coming to talk about so yeah i prefer not to um nobody with the time yet on youtube but i'm seeing i think i see some familiar names yeah thank you <laughs> all right so i have a new connection to try i'm gonna try it first on tiktok all right yes because tiktok keeps sending notification about the internet so it definitely is trying to um let me know that it is not working out <laughs> So, okay, let me look for it now. 24G. I think this is the one I have on here. Yes. So, let me try it. For the TikTok. Alright. Did anybody give the time? Uh... One of the moderators, yes. Okay, somebody's offering to be a moderator. I would appreciate love that. We can't keep a good woman down, never. <laughs> never, guys. Never, never, never. Right, let's try TikTok again. I do believe I was kicked off. So... Let me go for it again. Look like them blank out the TikTok page and find out some come forward. <laughs> Babylon, hear the news. She's back. <laughs> yes. And we're live. I'm back live on TikTok. Yeah, it's been steady on YouTube, which is really good. I'm so happy that, you know, I've created this space. Um, I wouldn't say it's a long time coming because I just feel like things just happen when they're supposed to happen. I really put too much pressure upon myself. 
with time and labels and numbers and you know all these things so yeah yes we're gonna make this platform great thank you nareen bless up yourself um and already i have my great friends over on instagram thank you guys so much for the support um please subscribe to the youtube channel to our right instagrammers so that we can all just have that space to share in you know more detail and like i said i can do a podcast i can do so many things with youtube you know it's a great opportunity to just expand and be able to you know give the people that avenue because like i said a lot of the advocacy issues which i have um been involved in it wasn't my idea it's just that people know that i'm somebody who pays attention to certain things to do with the society politics health um the state of people you know mental health all the different things fashion like i consider myself to be somebody who is well-rounded and you know keep abreast of things so people know that too and when you have that confidence in yourself it's gonna show like everywhere you